Hello, my soccer universe. So Valencia celebrates their centenary season by winning the Copa del Rey and ending Barcelona's reign. I think they won five in a row. And now it is Valencia's turn. Valencia was not playing in those wonderful jerseys, even in the modernized version. Um, but you know, it was expected that uh, Valencia will play in white, their centenary kit, and Barcelona will play in their regular home kit. Not the new kit yet, which was a little bit surprising, but you know, I'm always happy if teams finish out the season in one kit. Um, which is also the reason why we see Liverpool and Tottenham play in their old kits, because UEFA wants that you play the whole entire season in one kit, and this is how it should be. I really hate it when they play, uh, when they change kits at the end of the season. This is... I don't like it. Uh, personally, I followed the match more than I saw it because I was feeling pretty miserable um, in the afternoon evening feeling fortunately better now let's see how it will go for the day but so yeah I had the game on I was watching a little bit here and there um, I actually saw the goals live but I was not in a position where I could watch the entire game fully focused I was just feeling not too well anyway uh, the game actually had Barcelona on the back foot in the first half and this is where Valencia really laid the foundation. So the game started, uh, by the way, we already with Valencia having a huge chance of the uh, botched Langley clearance. Uh, I think a wall fell to Rodrigo who runs the goalkeeper, shoots onto the empty net and PK has a huge save to get uh, Barcelona not on behind. Uh, that was probably one of the saves of the season and actually underlines how great Piquet was um, as a defender this season. At the beginning I made some fun of him to be honest but he proved himself to be one of the best defenders in the world still and I said Sergio Ramos and Piquet are kind of becoming li liabilities. Piquet not. Sergio Ramos probably maybe did. Um, then uh, Barcelona you know, tries to control the game, go forward, Messi had a chance, but then I think they got caught, caught count on a counter-attack um, where, where Valencia sees that they're not getting anywhere and then retracts and they had actually prolonged possession and then it goes very quick. Ball to the outside, uh, cross comes in where um, uh, Gamero can control it and slots it home. 1-0 Valencia in the 21st minute and from that moment on it was basically game on. Uh, Barcelona again got ridiculous possession stats but then again they're on the, uh, caught on a counter-attack uh, where uh, Jordi Alba is completely overrun pass in where I also think neither Piquet nor Silicon look very good because the cross is so close to, to the goal line uh, it's between the little box and the goal line where I think someone has to clear the ball and so it falls right to Rodrigo who just slams it home. It's 2-0 Valencia. Now the only thing that you can say is that you know Barcelona in early in the season was also 2-0 down to Valencia I think at home and then they managed to get a win. It seemed to me not quite that way this time around. Barcelona looked quite shaky. Um, Yes, ridiculous possession. Uh, they tried to have chances, but there was nothing really big. Their biggest chance came then in the second half, where they were playing towards the Barcelona fans. Where a really beautiful confirmation via Messi. Messi with his outside of the foot uh, kind of really nicely would have got it into goal. No, it hits the woodwork. I think if that ball goes in, then uh, it would have been a game. Barcelona makes immense pressure. Uh, then I think at the end that possession was 75% Barcelona. Really immense pressure, but uh, Valencia and uh, Marcelino learned one thing, to defend really, really well, and they were very compact. Uh, and Barcelona had a huge trouble to getting through. They finally find the breakthrough um, after, I think it was a long clear shot, a header. Uh, it's saved on the goal line by the goal goalkeeper but also right to Messi who slots it home in the 73rd minute and then again not much coming until the last seconds where again this the, what, what I already li didn't like when they lost to Liverpool and Barcelona is attacking 
no one is trying to take a chance. No, they all wait. Aha, here I have the ball. I mean, I'm in a good position. But maybe here's Messi. He's in better position. Let's get Messi. Let's give Messi the ball. And then the chance is almost gone. It's this over-reliance on Messi that uh, thwarts everyone else's, um, how to say, uh, courage to actually try something. And this must be really frustrating if you're a uh, big Barca fan. I mean, I am sympathized with Barca, but I wouldn't call myself a huge Barca fan uh, by itself. So this is frustrating to me to watch. Yes, Messi is the best player of the season and the best player worldwide at the moment. I would say that we, there's no discussion. But that a team is so over-reliant on one player. And yes, they played with uh, Coutinho and Malcolm, which is not your uh, standard first line. And you saw Suarez um, really suffering on the sidelines there. But still, try something. If Messi was not there, all these players would do so, uh, more. Then, I mean, the, uh, there was once, I think Malcolm had the ball. And I think he was in a good show, shooting position. And he just then lays, lays it off to Messi and they can get together. The most interesting part was that Valencia in stoppage time, where Barcelona really tried to up the pressure even more, had two huge uh, chances. I think both to, through Guedes. Uh, the first one, he is clear on goal, only the goalkeeper in front of him does not run the goalkeeper, decides to go directly for the shot, misses. Barcelona again puts pressure forward. There was then uh, the scene that I think that I just described. The first one was from a blocked shot from Messi. Uh, where, yeah, Messi had, had a go, it got blocked, can be. But then Stilisson even comes uh, to the front. And a short shot is clear again, falls to Gedesh, who goes over the uh, halfway line, takes aim and shoots it above the goal. Uh, so two empty net goals. Then, of course, why does Silison have to run back to make the um, put the ball back into play? He cramps. I would have let him uh, in front and uh, get uh, whoever else was in the back should uh, try to get this going. So Valencia wins it 2-1. It was actually quite exciting at the end, although I think Valencia probably should have made them the third. Um, weird thing is that in Spain only the captain then goes up to the king to get the trophy, which I think per, um, was it Parejo, who is the captain, he really looked lost there. He is alone there, he has the, the, the trophy. Yeah, where are my teammates? Then he comes down to have this big stage and all the teammates are self-suffering with fans and he stands alone uh, there. Awkward, absolutely awkward. As it was when some spectator that hugged Parejo also hugged the referee before. Was there money given? I didn't see any bad missed calls, but uh, that was my first thought. That didn't look right. Another cup final was the German cup final, which I did not see. I saw the highlights and from the highlights they said it was a great game uh, where Leipzig really attacked Bayern. And by with the first real chance, uh, cornering from Alaba and really well taken header by Lev Lewandowski. Was it a header? It was a. It, it was really. He was very well well covered and gets the ball out to goal. Make May makes it one nil. Then Bayern has the upper hand, but um, doesn't uh, get another goal. Second half again, immense pressure by Leipzig, uh, but it was a very uh, good game. Uh, Leipzig put up a fight and only a great uh, action by Coman, uh, where he gets the ball in, in, in the box quickly, rounds a defender, shoots it in, in the internet, makes it 2-0 and then Lewandowski 3-0 uh, because Leipzig uh, tries to get the winner. As I heard, this was a great game that the scoreline didn't represent uh, the true uh, balance of the game. So Lewandowski in the 29th, Coman in the 78th and Lewandowski in the 85th minute uh, get the goals. Bayern wins another double. Probably has saved Kovac's job for another season, but that remains to be seen. Okay. That was yesterday. There were also some Serie A games, but we'll talk about Serie A to, uh, tonight. is the big Serie A showdown that I'm looking forward to. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the two cup finals uh, below. 
I will talk to you soon. And if you're leaving the EU, don't forget to vote today. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.